Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, February 20th, 2024 at 7 p.m. Eastern. And this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. And welcome everybody. Come on in, join us. We've got a fun, well, two fun cards. We're gonna do both of these. They look the same, but they're opposite. So we're gonna be splitting the two pieces in half, kind of diagonally, kind of offset a little bit. And then we're gonna make two cards out of it. So you get a two for tonight. And this is a really easy card. This was inspired by my friend, Michelle Avance. Um, she made this card at our get together last Friday. And so I get together with um, some of my other friends that are demonstrators and we bring a shoebox swap to, um, you know, make each other's cards. So we get to make everybody else's cards when we're there. So this was Michelle's card and I loved it. And then my friend Colleen, who some of you guys watch, um, Colleen Magnus, she turned hers this way and I was like, oh, I like it that way. So then I just basically did kind of the same card, but I used the blues instead of the, um, the Calypso coral color. So um, very similar card and that's where I got the idea from. So thank you, Michelle. And we're gonna be using the Stippled Roses stamp set which is absolutely gorgeous. And also the folder, the embossing folder. Um, now I can't remember what the name of this one is. <laughs> Who remembers what the name of this one is? <laughs> uh, I wanna say something flowers. <laughs> I can't remember. I should have written it down. But I noticed mine got chewed up. So I don't know if at my last class somebody put it through the embossing machine crooked or something, but darn, it got really chewed up on the edge there. So I might have to buy another one. I mean, it still works, but oh, I hate it when that happens. So if you're using yours, make sure you always put it through straight and not crooked. Um, anybody remember what the name of this is? I use it all the time. Something, something flowers. It's in the um, spring mini. Hold on, let me look. That's gonna drive me crazy that I don't remember it. Everyday Florals, is that what it is? Everyday Florals? Let's see. No, Layered Florals. Okay, so it's Layered Florals 3D Embossing Folder. So that's on page, well, 75, and it's also page 65. Love it, love it, love it. Well, you can hardly even see it right there. It's kind of hiding. But, oh my gosh, it's my favorite embossing folder. And we're also using the paper. Now, this is Celebration Paper. Um, so it's only available for another week or so um, till the end of the month. So what is that, nine days you have left? And here's what it looks like. So we're using, let me get all the pieces out. We're using this piece in there. And there's also this piece using the other color. So they're very similar. Um, I like both of them. And then the pieces that go with it just coordinate so well. Um, they're gorgeous. So you could use like the back of this one and this one. Um, or we've got orange on the back, which would go with this one. I haven't used this piece yet. This one I'm using today on a thing I'm making for my card, my class the next week. So next week I'm doing a class with, um, I did, oh, I did it this card too. I'm doing a class with 3D items. So this is another card that I made with this paper. And that's that split, um, what's it called? Split front card. Um, but anyway, next week I'm doing a 3D um, class. So no cards, it's just 3D projects. And we're making all sorts of stuff. A notebook and a calendar and an easel. And I'll be doing videos of those later, so. Anyway, so you can still get that paper with a $50 order during celebration, and you've only got nine days left, so you got to hurry up. Let me um, check the comments. So I swear these comments are so weird now. They're on the bottom of the video, like underneath it, so I can't see the video and the comments. So that is crazy. Are you Are you guys having that issue too, that the comments are like underneath the video instead of next to it? So you can't really watch the video and the comments at the same time. That's so crazy that they're doing that. Anyway, hey Julie, hey Jody, hey Sharon, hey Paula, 
Hey, Carol. Hey, Diane. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Myra. Oh, you got your card in the mail today. Good, good. Hey, Bill. You abandoned Ruth to see me. Wow. Well, I didn't know Ruth was on at the same time. Usually she's on later at night. Um, I love Ruth, though. Um, hey, Marva. Hey, Karen. Hey, um, C. Watt. I don't know what your first name is. Oh, Kathy. Kathy, there we go. Um, always replay. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm glad you picked me. <laughs> hey, Robin. Um, beautiful cards. Love the stamp set. Yes, me too. Hey, Jody. Um, hey, Nell. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Karen. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Linda. Hey, Rita. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Sue. Hey, Regina. Hey, Denise. Oh, my gosh. We're getting on here. Oh, Michelle's on here. I already talked about you, Michelle, and I said this card is your um, your idea. All right, and welcome everybody else I didn't get to. You guys are coming in fast now. So we've got 118 on. All right, don't forget to do thumbs up if you're watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for me. That always helps my channel grow, and I just hit 16,000 about a week or two ago. So I was really excited. What catalog has the embossing folder? It's the Spring Mini, this one. It's on page 65 and 75. So, oh, I love it, love it. Hey, Kay from Texas. Normal here. Okay, that's weird. So it must be something. Oh, hey, Starla. I haven't seen you in a while. Must be something with my computer because, I don't know, I can't see my uh, my picture because I, I got to scroll under the video to see the comments, which is so strange. All right, I got some happy mail to show you. So don't forget we're having the fun fold card contest. So if you want to enter, um, I know there were some cards in today's mail, but the mailman hasn't come yet today. So he's running late. Um, if you want to enter, all you have to do is create a fun fold card using Stampin' Up! products, um, current Stampin' Up! products, please. And Try to include the measurements and stuff with your card if you can. If you don't, it's okay, but then it would be easier if I want to make it. So, um, one of oh, both of these are fun folds. So, this one is from Joan Ballinger. And, oh my gosh, isn't this just adorable? Love it. I'm totally going to copy that one. Love it, love it, love it. So, that is so cute. Um... We don't have the measurements, but I'll figure it out. So thank you, Joan. Love that. And I'm going to give a prize to the top three people. Um, I'm going to pick three winners, and those three will get prizes, although all the cards I've gotten so far have been gorgeous. This one is from um, Katrina Carlson, and she did this one, which is beautiful, too. I love it. And she um, thought she put the measurements, but no. I thought she did, but nope. All right, so I can figure this one out. That's pretty easy. And that paper, oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. This is my favorite paper right now, I think. This is my total favorite, and then the bird paper and this paper are my other favorites. So thank you, got girls, for the um, cards. I love, 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 love them. All right, and also don't forget, card kit for the rest of the month is this one. So you get the supplies to make these three cards if your order is over $50 and you also get a celebration item. Um, make sure you use that host code though. And then also if your order is over $100, you're gonna get a free pack of gems, which I keep forgetting to bring in here. It's gonna be the um, iridescent pearls, but I keep forgetting to bring them with me. I don't know why, but <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to get started? I've got some more cards to give away, and I've got a joke later. Oh, Karen, you mailed yours today. Good. Let me see. Love to hang out with you. Your personality is so fun. Thank you, Debbie. Starla, you got your computer back. Yes. Um, hi from Scotland. Hey, Karen from Scotland. All right. So, 3D floral, yeah, 3D floral embossing folder. Okay, so let's get started. So, we've got, um, let's see, we're going to do both of these. And I actually brought my mini Stampin' Emboss machine with me. 
So I'm gonna show you. I never bring that because it usually doesn't fit, but I got the little mini one. I finally found it. I could, I don't know what I did with it. And then I found it just behind some stuff and I was like, oh, I've been looking everywhere for that thing. Don't you hate that when it's like right in front of you, but there's something on top of it so you can't see it? So you need five and a half by eight and a half, pretty peacock, and um, five and a quarter by four white, two of these and two of these. Then we need a piece of the embossed Lost Lagoon. So I embossed that with the um, floral. A five and a quarter by four of the paper, the softly stippled paper. Um, two pieces of the scraps. That's going to go on our inside here. And then two pieces of scrap white. This is for um, cutting your stamping and cutting your words out right here. And then you do need a piece of scrap white to stamp the flowers on, the big flowers, and then cut them out. All right, so get a screenshot of that, and then we'll get started. And let me scroll back down. Oh, Cindy, you mailed yours today. Good. Um, hey, Mary. Hey, from Canada. Hey, Susan. Hey, Shirley. Can I have my address? Oh, yeah. So, um, oops. Here's my address. So if you want to do the fun fold contest, this is my address right here. You can take a screenshot. Um, oh, Lori, I should get your fun fold Thursday. Okay. It's okay. If you didn't send the measurements, it's okay. I can figure it out. Um, but try to get them here by the end of the month because that I want to get them all by the end of the month. So you still have about nine days. To get them here all right so let's get started so I think I told you guys about my neighbor's dog so you know they've had this dog since they moved in which has been like two years ago I've never heard the dog bark and then all of a sudden the last like week and a half it's been barking every morning at 5 30 in the morning and I'm going crazy because um, you know I usually don't get up till 8 o'clock so now this dog comes out at 5.30 and just starts barking. I'm going to do the inside first. So the inside, we're just going to put this on the bottom. So I was talking to my other neighbor across the street because I thought probably they were out of town. And somebody was just letting them out in the morning and then not letting them back in. Like just letting, letting the dog out and... And then leaving and then coming back later but i found out i was talking to my other neighbor so she texted the one next door because i don't really know her that well and um so come to find out they got a doggy door so now they leave for work at 5 30 and the dog just goes out the doggy door and starts barking so <laughs> she told them they bought a bark collar so thank the lord <laughs> It's supposed to be here Friday, so hopefully uh, Saturday morning I'll get to sleep a little bit. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, every morning at 5.30 that dog's going out barking. All right, so we're going to put these inside. And I know some of you guys can relate. I like dogs, but not if they are waking me up in the morning. And luckily, I have wonderful neighbors that... Every single one of them has a dog, except me. I'm like the only person on the street that doesn't have a dog. And um, they all, you know, just let their dogs out to go to the bathroom and then take them for walks. And, and you know, they never bark. Like none of my neighbor's dogs bark, except until now. <laughs> so, uh, but I am just tired. I'm not used to having to wake up because normally my street's so quiet you don't hear anything and I have a noise machine too so that usually you know cancels out most noises all right so that's the inside so now what we're gonna do is cut these two pieces and you have to cut them together so I'm gonna get my paper cutter this is much easier if you have a um, chopping one just because it's kind of hard to cut the embossed paper um, with the sliding kind like this, but we're going to do it. All right, so what we want to do is cut over about an inch from the top right here, 
And if you guys remember, my measuring is a knuckle. So a knuckle is about an inch. So we're going to go over about a knuckle right there and an inch from the bottom. So right there. So we're going to cut from here to here. Okay. So you want to do them together. So make sure you line them up and then put them in here. It doesn't have to be exact as long as they're the same. So you have to do them together. So, and I noticed mine is a sliver off, but that's okay. That won't matter. All right. So then we're just going to hold this and hopefully it'll go through both of them. Yay. Okay. So there we go. So just get it kind of close to that. So you want about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom. So then we're going to flip flop. So you're going to put this one with this one and this one with this one. And you know what I just noticed? I had that upside down. Dang it. Okay, we can turn this one upside down. That one you won't notice as much as the paper because that can go either way. All right, so there's our two fronts. So make sure you got your paper going the right way. <laughs> All right, we're going to glue that down to the front. Uh, I should stop talking, huh? <laughs> All right, we're going to glue this down. And you want to have a little bit of a border. And that down right here so we want just about an eighth of an inch all the way around get it straight and that's one thing I love about the green glue is you do have like you know about 15 seconds where you can move it and um, if you use that other kind of tape once you stick it down it's done you can't move that at all all right and then put this one right up against it Got some on my finger. All right, so there we go. <laughs> Somebody put, gave me a comment the other day, and they said she said she thought it was so weird that I put the the glue on the piece, like on this piece, instead of on the base. And I was like, so she was saying I should put the glue on here and then lay it down. And I'm like, I don't know. To me, that just seems weird because then you got to worry about getting too close to the um, the edge but I mean I guess you could do it either way but she told me I was strange for doing it like that <laughs> I was like as far as I know almost everybody does it that way but I don't know I mean you can always do it however you want so instead just put the glue here but I don't know I just like to do it on the piece of paper especially if you're not gonna be taking up the whole entire card and you don't know exactly where to put the glue. Okay. All right, so there's our two pieces. So that's done. So there we go, we've got our bases done. Now we need to stamp our flowers. So I've got a piece of scrap white and we can fit about three of these on here. And these cards are so easy to do. I love them. Love them. All right, so we're going to do this. Whenever I have a big stamp, I like to do it upside down. It's just easier to get the um, ink on there. All right. So let's just do this right here. Give it a good press. This is pretty peacock. And then we're going to do one more. can fit three on this piece of paper. This is just a half sheet of paper. So I can fit one like right here and then I can get another one over here. Okay, so there's our two. Then, while I still have this ink pad out, I'm gonna stamp my words on scrap paper. I probably could just stamp it on this piece of paper, but I had these little white scraps. So we're gonna cut these out I probably should, let me just do them both on the same piece. That would be smarter. There we go. All right, so you just need one little piece of scrap paper. And then we're done with that. Then we're gonna take our, oops, our um, Winkastella. And we're gonna color with Winkastella. And hopefully this one works well. I 
kept grabbing some that were almost empty. So I'm just going to color the center up. Oh, this one's kind of coming out fast. All right, so we're just coloring this and it just bleeds just a little bit, depending on how juicy your pad is. Um, if your pad's really juicy, it'll bleed more, but it just gives it a really pretty shine and looks so beautiful. Love it. So I'm just doing the flowers, not the leaves. There's one more right there. All right, and then we're gonna do this one. And these are just so beautiful. I love this stamp. And this is just an easy way to add some color and just a little bit of shimmer to your flowers. Now it was coming out really thick for a minute and now it's kind of drying. <laughs> So, I don't know, have any of you guys ever done um, Factor, you know, where you get the meals in the mail? Well, not the mail, but they deliver them to you. I did it a long time ago, but, you know, it's kind of expensive unless you get this, like, deal where you first start and they give you, like, half off your first order. And then, so I signed up again so I could get that deal for a few weeks. But, so I'm just going to order a bunch and stick some in the freezer because it's, <laughs> it's kind of pricey. But they're so good. If any of you guys have ever tried them, the meals are really good. But if they're not like on a discount, they're kind of pricey. Okay, so there we go. And then um, I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. And then I'm gonna take the um, Lost Lagoon and the blending brush and I'm gonna add a little bit more pop of color to um, the center. So I just want to pop this just a little bit more. So there you go. And it doesn't um, touch the glitter. The glitter is all still there. So it doesn't like rub it off or anything. Now I guess you could do this first. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Then we're going to just pop these out with the um, die cut. So I got my little mini embossing thingy so let's get everything out of the way well let me move this out of the way because this is gonna shake a little bit all right so I gotta cut this apart or it won't fit oops All right, so we're gonna put this in. And I lost my, oh, here they are, my plates. So you need the one plate, which is the bottom one. Then you need one of the glass ones, which is the number two. And then the other, well, I guess they're not glass. They're, um, I guess they're plastic. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Cutting mats. <laughs> All right, so what I do is I line mine up and then I put a piece of tear tape on it. This one's not too sticky, but let's see. Hopefully you can see this. Let me scroll back up and see. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. All right. So line this up on here. This is easier when I'm standing up. <laughs> Let me do it this way. All right. So let's put this down. Hopefully you can still see it. Hold on. I'll put it back up in a second. All right, so I'm going to stick this tear tape on it so then it won't move. All right, so we've got that on there, and then we're going to put this on top. I always forget about this little one. All right, and then put it through. So there we go. And it fits perfect in there. So then you don't have to get up, because I keep mine in my kitchen, my big one. And I always have to get up, which is good because I really need to get up all the time instead of just sitting in my chair and uh, getting all stiff. All right, we're going to do the other one real quick. So, whoops. 
wrong way. That's why I usually do this ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me fumble around with it. <laughs> okay, line that up. And put your tear tape down. Or, um, well, yeah, I guess it's called tear tape. No, what is it called? Post-it tape, sorry. I called it the wrong thing. Okay. I'll put that on top. Okay, there we go. And then just put it away. All right. So here we go. And if you don't have um, this post-it tape, you can always use, uh-oh, this was right on the edge. Hold on. Let me just snip it. You can use um, washi tape, which I don't know. Do we still have washi tape? I don't know. All right. But this post-it tape I got on Amazon. The link is um, in the description box below the video. So you can get some there. It's really cheap and it just works great. Let me put this back over here. All right, so we've got our two cards. Now we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. Let me get situated again. Let me read the comments. Um, let's see. Hover your mouse over the video player and click different mode. Where's the video player? I don't see a video player. Any player. Um, I'm not sure where you're talking about, Jeannie. Um, I don't think I've done anything to it to switch it to a different mode but I don't see where theater mode is. Oh, default view. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, yay, that works. <laughs> okay, I found it, it's at the bottom of the screen. Yay, now I'm back to normal. Okay, thank you. I thought I was gonna go crazy. That was such a pain having to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on with dimensionals and Oops, I'm almost out of dimensionals. Let me get a new one. Okay, and I'm not going to put them real close to the edge because I've got um, some little leaves we're going to put in here. So I cut these out ahead of time with this little die. It's kind of hard to see it, but um, I've got some in here now. And this is just designer paper that's in the pack. So I use the blue side of that and I cut out two at a time. Try not to rip them because they're very delicate. Hold on. Got it all twisted in here. Ah. Okay, there we go. All right, so I punched these out with the die and I did two at a time and it goes through two pieces at a time. But you gotta be careful because these are very delicate. And they rip easy because it's so thin. But there you go. And then the other one will just pop out in a minute. I gotta use my pokey tool to get it out. So anyway, we're gonna do um, one for each card. And I'm just gonna cut those into little pieces. So I'm gonna cut these apart and put different ones. Um, around the edges so let's do that one right there all right so now we've got four little pieces for one card and then we'll get four little pieces for the other card I'll do it right there okay all right so there's some for each one so we're gonna have leave some room around the edges to poke those right underneath with a little bit of glue so I don't want my dimensionals right up to the edge on there. That should be good. And then we're gonna put them at just a little bit of an angle. Oh, 
Oh, so anyway, I was telling you about that factor. Um, so I ordered them and they came today and they're so good. But the first one you get 50% off of, so I ordered like extras. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know where I'm gonna put them all because <laughs> I put them in the refrigerator for now, but my freezer is packed. Like you can't even fit uh, like a pack of cheese in there. It's so full right now. And I don't even have any ice cream in there. I don't know why I have so much stuff in my freezer. All right, so we get these on like this. Then we're gonna take our glue. And this would probably be easier if I had some tweezers. But just put, let me use my little teeny glue. This is just a little tiny glue bottle I got on Amazon. So you can just put a little tiny drop on each one. If it comes out, uh-oh, it's clogged up. Okay, well, it's clocked up, so we're not going to use that. We'll just use the other one. Huh. I keep a pin in it so it doesn't get clogged up, too. Okay. The joy of live TV. <laughs> All right, so we're just putting a little dot on a few of, well, probably just three. That'll do. And then we're just going to tuck it under and glue it down. Can't remember which ones I put the glue on. Just enough so it'll stay there. Maybe I'll put one more there. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one. Now you could cut out like two or three of these so you have like more full um, branches coming out, but um, I just like to have little ones because when I had the whole big one, it was like coming off of the page. So I didn't have enough room to put it all. So I just cut it into smaller ones. So just stick that around. And one more. Then we're gonna cut our words out. Oh, we gotta do rhinestones too. All right, whoops, stuck to my fingers. Okay, so there's one, probably should have put some over there. Then we're gonna do this one. My friend at work made me this um, sweet potato casserole and oh my gosh, it was so good. It was like, sweet potatoes and then it had this topping you know sweet potatoes mixed with something then it had this topping of brown sugar cinnamon pecans um i don't know what else in there oh my gosh it was so good and the funny thing is so i made the i made these um lemon bars and took them to work um just for like well i made them for a potluck for our thing friday and then I had extra, so I took him to work for some other girls in the front office. Well, one of the nurses, he's a guy, and he was standing there, and he's like, what are those? And I was like, they're lemon bars, but they're really the um, Paula Deen ooey gooey bars. Hey, Rosa. I just saw you get on here. How you doing, girl? So they're the Paula Deen ooey gooey butter bars. But then I kind of changed the recipe a little bit and put um, lemon extract in them. And I've also put um, chopped up pecans in the crust. So they're slightly different, but everybody who eats them just like flips out over them because they're so good. So this nurse is named Sam and he's like, oh my gosh. And he's just going, these are so good. And he's like, I'll pay you to make me a pan of them. <laughs> I was just cracking up. So I took him some to work um, the next day. And then um, Jordan, she had given me the sweet potato casserole. And so I went to go eat some of it while I was at work. And 
So I get it out and I'm heating some up in the microwave. So one of the other nurses comes in. She's like, oh, what is that? And I'm like, it's sweet potato casserole. Um, Jordan made it for me. And, and she goes, oh, she goes, that looks so good. And, you know, I didn't want to share because it was just like a little pan like this. <laughs> and she, she kept saying, man, that looks good. <laughs> and then she goes, I think I need a little square of that. Like just a little corner. Just give me like a little bit. And I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh, it's not that much. <laughs> but do you guys have coworkers like that? Like if you bring something in, they want some of it. I'm just like, I never ask somebody for their food. But... I mean, if I have a big amount, I'll share it, but, you know, sometimes you're just like, uh, come on now. There's just certain people at work that always ask for something if you bring it in. And I'm like, oh. just, it's irritating. They're like the same people that, you know, when you have a potluck, they don't bring anything. And then they take about two plates of it home of the leftovers. <laughs> We always have those people because we have a potluck every month to celebrate birthdays and it's always the same people that bring the food and, and then the same people that don't bring the food are always the ones eating it the most. All right, so we're just going to uh, fussy cut this out and someone was watching the other day and they said they really have a hard time fussy cutting and I said, well... If you just watch the videos when I do it, you really just have to remember to keep your cutting hand pretty still and use your other hand for twisting your paper back and forth. And then it's so easy and so quick and just comes out, boom, like that. All right, so then I'm gonna stick this down with, um, first I'm gonna put tape on the back and we're gonna put some linen thread on the back of these. So, a lot of tape. And then I've got some pieces of linen thread. I didn't really measure this, but I just grabbed a piece. And this was just like a spare piece. And I just wanna make some loops on here. So I'm just gonna lay it down and make some little loops. And usually I wrap it around my fingers, but this is such a small piece that I'm just gonna do it like this and make a couple little loops. So there you go. And then I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of that. And just push it up, whoops, push it all in there. And then plop that down. Wherever you want. You can put it like down here. You can put it on the flower. Oops. This is showing a little bit. Okay. Ah. All right. It was showing through the front a little bit. Okay, um, I'm just going to put it like right there on the side. I'm going to trim this little thingy. There we go. All right, so there's one. i got to put the gems on still. Then we're going to take another piece of linen thread. Oh, that one's too long. There's one. All right, and do the same thing. So just start your piece right in the middle and then make loops. So make not twisting, right? Make some loop. <laughs> All right, it wants to go the other direction. All right, let's try that again. There we go. I had the weirdest dream last night. Oh my gosh, I woke up. Well, the dog woke me up barking, but um, I was dreaming the strangest dream. I was on the Stampin' Up! trip and my ex-husband and his wife show up and I was like, oh my gosh, what are they doing on the Stampin' Up! trip? <laughs> and I haven't even seen my ex-husband in like a year because the last time I saw him was at my daughter's wedding. I have no interest in him whatsoever, but the two of them were in my dream 
and they were ruining my trip and I was so mad and then I woke up and it was like you ever wake up and you think it just was so real that it happened and I was like man that was crazy but it was just the funniest thing because I'm there you know with all my friends from stamping up all these demonstrators and here comes my ex-husband and his wife I'm like oh my gosh what are they doing here so hopefully that won't happen <laughs> That would ruin my trip. All right, we're gonna snip off this little piece right here. Okay. And then we'll just plop that. Should we put it down here or we'll just put it right there. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna take a couple of these rhinestones and put them on. And use your take your pick tool. And I'm just going to stick it right in the center of these flowers. And then one more, just kind of wherever. Oh, I meant to go read the comments and then I just got carried away. Hold on. Let's see. Cindy says, my son would make homemade pasta salad for potlucks when he was in college and shocked classmates who didn't think he, being a guy, could cook. <laughs> Peter told them his southern mom taught him well. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Cindy says, that's a nightmare. Yes, it was a nightmare. <laughs> uh, I need to find a man who can cook. <laughs> I'm telling you. I like to cook, okay, but I'd rather bake. I'm more of a um, baker than a, a regular cook. Yeah, the nurses do love to eat, but now we have two guy nurses. That We've never had male nurses, and now we have two. And I tell you what, both of them love to eat. So whenever there's food, they're always, well, the doctors are too. Most We have mostly male doctors. We do have two female doctors, but. Okay, so there we go. And then if you wanna do some shimmer spray, you can shimmer it. Let me put this down. That always makes your colors pop too. Love it. Okay, and I think that's it. There we go. All right, so there's my two cards for today. And my two original cards. So if you want to take pictures of those, you can. Let's put them, spread them out so you can get a good look. Okay, you ready for a joke? This one is funny. I just saw this one today on Facebook and I was cracking up because it was hysterical. All right, let me pull it up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, no, Carol, I'm not a nurse. I'm a um, I'm the office manager at an urgent care center. So I manage the the billing and the insurance and all that stuff and do the schedules and the payroll. So I'm more of the office stuff. But I've been there for 13 years, so I might as well be a nurse. I swear I can, <laughs> I can do almost anything. <laughs> I, can, I can't take blood, though, <laughs> but I can do a lot of stuff. Um, okay, so hold on. Here we go. All right, an elderly couple gets pulled over by a cop. The wife is driving, but she has a bit of a hearing problem. The officer notifies her that she was doing 38 and 25 mile per hour zone. The wife turns to her husband and asks, what did he say? The husband says, he says you were speeding. The wife turns back to the officer and says, oh, sorry, officer. Then the officer says, I need your license and registration. The wife again turns to her husband. What'd he say? The husband, growing irritated, says, he wants to see your license. The wife replies, oh, sorry, officer, here you go. The officer inspects her license and comments, oh, you're from Brownsville. I'll never forget that city. I had the worst sexual experience of my entire life in Brownsville. The wife once more turns to her husband and yells, what did he say? The husband says, he says he knows you. <laughs> It took me a second to get that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's hysterical. So that is my joke for today. So I hope you like that. And now we've got some cards to give away. So um, I had like three people that never claimed their cards from a week ago. So you have one week to claim your cards. And if you don't claim them, then I re-give them out. So um, here we go with tonight. So a couple of these are ones that were not claimed. And then I also have a couple from the other day that weren't claimed yet. So here's those three. So Deborah Field, Veronica Meyer, and Bobette Grover. These are the ones from Saturday. And they have not been claimed yet. So if these are not claimed by this coming Saturday, these will be re-gifted. Re All right, here's my email. Don't forget the two. It's stampgirl2 at cox.net. And let me get these out of the way. Okay, so here are the people from last time that won. And then I've already picked the winners for today. So I've got Sherry Niebauer. I can't remember if I saw her today. Um, Lucy Schmidt. Kathy Zaramba. Reva Moyer. And Deborah Davis. I'm running out of room here. So there we go. So if you see your name here, you need to send me an email at stampgirl2 at cox.net and um, then I will get that in the mail to you this week. Oh, Enika's on here. Hey, Enika, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? Oh, Julie, I think you won a card like a week ago and then you didn't claim it. Yeah, I think you did. I'm almost sure. Or maybe you did. I know. I know you won one. I can't remember if you claimed it or not. Um, all right, you guys. We are all finished for today. I'll be back Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Don't forget it's 10 a.m. Eastern time. So I know that's early for some of you guys. But you can always watch the replay. So i um, not sure what I'm doing yet. But it'll be something fun, I'm sure. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you guys, oh, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern on Saturday. Um, oh, you got it in the mail today. Okay, good. I knew you won. I just can't remember if you claimed it or not. Okay, good, good, good. Julie, you got your card too. Okay. Yeah, I usually remember who wins, but not everybody claims there. So sorry, guys, if you win and you don't claim it, I give it away in a week, so. I've had people sometimes a month later say, oh, I won a card. I'm like, girl, <laughs> that card's long gone. <laughs> so make sure you're watching the videos. And it's always at the end, the last five minutes. So if you miss some and you want to go back and check, it's always the last five minutes. All right, everybody. I'll see you later. Have a great week. And uh, don't forget to come back on Saturday. Bye-bye.